60 seconds on bank capital ratios. Well, this is also known as a capital adequacy ratio and measures a bank's ability to absorb losses and their ability to withstand big shocks, such as the global financial crisis. A higher capital ratio is essentially a buffer against big downturns, rising loan defaults or other adverse events. And indeed, the regulatory authorities may set minimum capital ratios based on the risk profile and the size of a bank. And a bank that falls below the ratios may face limits on how many dividends they can pay out or they may be asked to raise extra capital. The capital ratio is a bank's capital, or equity, divided by its risk-weighted assets. And those include the loans that a bank's made to borrowers such as businesses and households. Here's a good example. Lloyds Group is Britain's biggest mortgage lender. And as you can see, their capital ratio has climbed from 11% to 17% in recent years.